Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We start off today by prepping off for somebody's birthday. Yes, you heard it right. So it was my birthday, so I decided to do everything myself because there's so much blessings in what we do with our own hands, what we prepare with our own hands. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we cannot welcome everybody enough because we are so glad to see everybody coming back and tuning into the channel. Thank you very much for once again selecting my channel to have a, a, a look at what we are busy with, what we are up to. Um, the past week, I did not upload. Reason being is my phone broke. And then due to a health condition, I could not upload. So I have like iron deficiency and then I got dizzy and everything. So I couldn't do much. But now we are all in good health and in good spirit. We ask the Almighty to always give us good health and to always keep us safe from um, so many things. And then we must also try to keep ourselves in good health. So we are starting off today in the kitchen. It's a beautiful Friday. My birthday was on a Friday. I'm busy uh, seasoning the lamb leg. You can season it the way you like, any way you prefer to season it. Some people only like to do it with salt and pepper, but then you have to season it with enough salt because this is a, a piece of it's a piece of the leg so it's thick the salt needs to go in and it needs to marinate very well so today we are using braai and grill by robertson spices is the first time i use this one we all like the well-known one which is our six gun but when i saw this one i just thought to myself let me give it a try not bad at all it is nice so after seasoning and prepping the leg i'm going to wrap it in my baking paper first and then wrap it with the foil once i have done that then i will put it into the oven for an hour or a, a little bit more than an hour because I'm going to grill it on a very low heat so that we can have a leg that is nice and juicy to enjoy. Then after that, I will start prepping off. So in today's menu, I decided to put on the table lamb. Then we have beef as well as chicken. Now this is chuck, a very nice big of piece of chuck. We're also going to use the same spice, which is braai and grill. Not the same as the leg. The leg, I added some of the my dry spices, my chili powder, my red chili powder. So on this one, I'm only going to use the braai and grill. A braai and grill does have salt. If you like too much salt, you can. It's, it's your choice. It's anybody's choice anyway. So you can just add. I'm just prepping it there. I'm cutting off the marks like the ink. They, they write. I don't know why they do that. But I think there's a very good reason for it. I never looked into it as well. So I don't even think I want to know why they are writing those numbers on the animals. But <laughs> maybe one day I'll find out. So... Now, after I season this, I will also have, but it's brivors, right? So I also got brivors, which is also beef. And then I'm going to cling wrap it, put it aside so it can marinate for a while, for a little while, not for too long. And then I'm also going to grill this. All this meat is not going to the braai outside. I'm doing everything in the oven. Then once completed, then I will start off with the following dish that I'm going to put place on the platter. 
I'm going to lay this all into platters. Then I'm going to start off with the chicken. I had to pause for a while because I sounded like a, I don't know if it's a, a tape, you know, when you call into the call center and then you listen to the person who say to do this, please select one, select two. So I sounded like that and I had to break off and think to myself, do I really want my video to flow like this? And then I just thought, no, it's not going to work out for me. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's continue. So here I did a rolled stuffed chicken very nice very delicious the only twist i did here was to use my homemade pesto i will share the recipe in the new near future so normally when you do a stuffed chicken then you use most your cheese cream so i'm using my homemade pesto first i start off by cutting the the fillet in half so that it can be nice and thin and so that it is easy to roll up then you use your your clean wrap and i'm going to do some exercises i'm going to beat it down to make it more thinner then it will be nicer now in this recipe with this recipe you will notice that i do not season the fillet first because i am using my homemade pesto that has all of the uh, necessary seasonings in so that will then marinate in but once i've laid everything out on the baking tray i will then add salt pepper as well as chili flakes and a little a drizzle of coconut oil this is so good is so delicious i wanted to add spinach but then i thought to myself no because i'm using pesto let me just try to do it as simple as possible so you after you've uh, slapped it down you actually you need something like that small hammer that you a meat tenderizer you need to have a meat tenderizer I still need to get one. I didn't get the specific one that I had, that I wanted. I saw gold ones and rose gold ones. I just want a plain silver one. I don't want any colors. So uh, in my area, I couldn't find one. I never had one before anyway. So now we're just using the baking roller. If you like to make rooties and bake, you'll always have a roller in your, your house somewhere. So after you spread the pesto then you put your cheese you can use any cheese you can use a cheddar cheese mozzarella gouda any type of cheese white cheese yellow cheese but preferably white cheese as we all know but in this video you'll see that i also have a white uh, i have a white yeah i'm using a white cheddar cheese and then later on i will grate a yellow uh, cheddar cheese then we're going to roll this out we're going to lay it nice in a tray and complete the rest of the seasoning. Then it will also go into the oven. So now let me explain to you a little bit about the anemia that I got. So it's called anemia when you are iron deficient. So how I got to find out about this, I wasn't feeling well anyway. And then one day I just looked at myself into the mirror. And then I just saw a different person. It didn't look like me. I was so pale. And I could feel that I was dizzy. But I was strong enough to do to still do everything that I wanted to do. And all the tasks that I wished to complete on that day. And then I decided, you know what? Let me just go to the doctor. And I just drove off. And I went straight to the doctor. And that is where the doctor did the checks. And yes, it was like that. And you know, in some cases, they do a blood transfusion, but luckily, I did not get to that stage. So I am doing a lot of research. Uh, there are a lot of friends who are familiar with this, and they are assisting me and telling me, look, you can eat this, you can do this, exercise, take a walk, you know, drink enough water. So yes, that is what's been happening. So me feeling like starting off with a painting was actually a very good idea. Because who knows, maybe I will be 
eating unhealthy stuff and basically killing my own body or poisoning myself in the meantime. So I think everything just happened at the right time and everything does happen for a reason and for a specific purpose. So once we put this in the oven, I'm going to leave it there to grill. I would say grill, yes. And then you will notice whenever you do this recipe, there's a lot of water, like the sauce that's being released from there. So what I'm going to do with the sauce that will come from here is I'm going to do my white sauce. So I'm going to take the gravy. Yes, it's a gravy, the broth. I'm going to take that broth. And then I'm going to add flour to it. Then I'm going to add more seasoning, which is salt and pepper only. And parsley, a uh, dry herb. And then I will also add a little bit of milk. And then use butter as well in the sauce. And then lastly, I will add fresh cream. This sauce is delicious. So when you have the, the chicken... Then you can enjoy it with the sauce on top. I am going to make a macar <laughs> spaghetti or make a macaroni. I'm going to make macaroni. And then you can uh, just mix it with that as well. It is so nice. It is so good, guys. So moving forward, I move forward to making the ribs. I'm going to make a platter. These are all small platters. Once I've done... The fillings is just cream cheese, then lettuce. After the lettuce, then I used strips, chicken strips, then a little bit of onion in the cheese as well as sauce. The sauce I mixed, I just mixed mayonnaise, garlic sauce, a little bit of ketchup and mustard sauce. Then I will wrap it up, close it, and then put it on top of the tava to toast it. You say, what do we say toast it on both sides so that it can be easy to place on the plate and we don't have to then use the toothpicks for it to hold very well and still on the platter. Once we've done this, so it was a very day, a very, very busy day in the kitchen, but it was nice because... The, the mood was there, the energy levels were there, everything just agreed. I didn't even have pains in my feet. So it was a very good productive day in the kitchen. So we think we can just say productive day in how to spend a productive day in the kitchen. After this, then we did some mini rolls. On the rolls, we're only going to use our green salad with cheese. Reason for that is... I'm going to make two big meat platters. So then we just you just take your roll and then add the type of meat that you want and enjoy it like that. Nevertheless, this is the following day. We enjoyed everything. Everything was so nice and so delicious. I didn't know that I could cook, you know. But this thought me a thing. So the nice thing about making meat platters is that is it's easy to prepare whether you decide to grill it in the oven or whether you fry from outside and then plate your platters then you make your rolls you can make you can make rutis you can make naan you can make anything that you want and then there's a variety of things so in this i've decided to make brown rice with nuts inside roasted nuts i use cashew nuts as well as almond nut and then i also made the macaroni the macaroni you can dish up and then mix it with the white sauce as well the white sauce that goes on top of the uh the chicken the stuffed chicken and you can also have an option of so it's the rice your macaroni then you have another option of the roll if you don't want to have the others so you see you can you can decide what you want to enjoy and how you like your food and uh, it makes everything easier and then there's a variety of the meats as well that you want and everybody can enjoy it we don't all like the same 
someone will like chicken another person will like fish another one will like red meat or mutton some are vegetarians maybe we can also add some eggs to eat this is just um a broader it's just giving you a broader vision of what you can do you can also use there are simple recipes like puff pastries and then you can create your own platters doing it yourself costs you so much less i if i can tell you guys the thing that i went out for on this day was my fruits we all know me with my fruits and my veggies <laughs> yes so i went out for fruits and i went out for refilled bottles those were the things that i went out for everything else is like when you do your monthly restock it is already there and remember we are using a system where we can use things for the coming months so the things that you also have in excess that you see like let me use this up i didn't use it this is the extras that i got that is where everything comes from and this is how we should learn to you know to to improvise in life and to be able to manage not all of us can afford all the luxuries not all of us we are all here striving for that 1000 subscribers and then moving upwards you know yes <laughs> but for while you are still here and still trying to do it look at that platter guys doesn't it look beautiful oh i also i also fried hash browns and then i did uh onions fried onions so that is the green salad with the macaroni and then i laid it out so nicely now we're gonna uh, put up the the chicken and then in the center i'm going to put in the leg such a beautiful platter everything is homemade you don't have to stand on your feet the whole time once it's in the oven then you can start off with the other small things with your veggie preps and start laying it out to uh, get a platter there wasn't need for the bigger platter first at first i used to buy those big platters from waste pack but now i'm just using the big trays that i bought and it's so convenient it's not even a fancy one but once you've placed everything on top of it you won't even see that, <laughs> that it's that type of tray that you see right there so in the center there we go with the macaroni we put up our privates and then we're going to put our chuck around it and then complete the whole platter with sweet corn you see if you don't if you like in this dish if you don't feel like having a rice or a roll or spaghetti you can just have your your healthy stuff you can just have your nice green salad with your meat and then just put up corn so it is it caters for everyone and with all said and done, my friends, thank you very much for tuning into today's uh, video and to spend some time with me in the kitchen. I hope that you've learned a new skill with me today. <laughs> and the table was laid out beautifully. The reason why there are candles is not because of a celebration. It is purely because we couldn't charge the other emergency lights. I don't have a generator, nor do I have a solar or in inverter so we laid out candles and that was our backup the candles lasted us for four hours and we sat we ate we enjoyed and it was fun to have <laughs> to have such a lovely dinner party and that is it thank you for watching if you are new on this channel thank you very much for tuning into to today's video and please do come again consider subscribing and guys let's not forget to give the video a thumbs up and like like if you can share please do share <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next upload um something else that i forgot is i wanted to do this video separately i went into Woolworths. when i got there i saw the beautiful range that they got i don't know if it's a seasonal thing maybe for the festive season that they have that space there where they have these enamel things it looks like farm style section something kind of like that you know or is it vintage or something like that and then i got sourdough 
so it's a sourdough starter and you can it's ready it's just ready to to make your sourdough your bread and it has a starter as well i have not looked into it but i will go through it and then i will also give a a review based on it since my first uh, try doing that was a fail a flop and i could just see that i'm not gonna make it because i don't know how many times i watched that other youtube video and i still didn't uh, succeed in doing that so let us see if i will succeed doing this um but it is it does have a guideline i've not opened it yet but you can see inside of the the bottle that it does it, they do provide everything within it within the bottle so it shouldn't be that hard to understand the difficult to uh, then continue with it thank you guys and have yourself a good one assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thank you.